Hello, everybody. I'm Llama Joe, and welcome to my channel. We are back with a letter, and prepare to have your heart destroyed, because we're about to go through this. So we're just going to jump right into it. I mean... Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, God. I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. Despite this, in spite of the grief choking her words off, the hurt closing her throat, and a sobs racking her little, her lithe form, she continues. <sighs> like the mere act of speaking is a relief in itself. A release. She tells me of her father, the very person who named... Oh. <sighs> Why? Why am I so emotionally hurt from this? Why is this affecting me so much? No, don't do it, Michael. Don't you fucking cry. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <sighs> How she looked up to him. How she was a bit of a tomboy growing up in her attempts to imitate him. And how the man encouraged her to pursue what she really wanted. Perhaps even the only thing she ever did for herself, having grown up not wanting anything more than food to put on their tables. He told me I don't have to listen No, to don't talk. But Don't I can talk. do what I want. Oh, God, no. Every day, he'd wake up at four, Ash. Because he'd earn more that way. And every time, every single time, he'd give them to me. Whatever extra he earned, he'd hand them all. So that I'd have something to use for my paintings. And you know what? Back home... Just a good tube of paint costs almost as much as what we spend for food the whole day. But he'd always set something aside. He told me he wanted to see my paintings in a museum one day. She pours it all. Uh, <clears throat> <sighs> oh, boy. Uh, she pours all of it out. Every little thing she loved and admired about him. Like this, it's easy to see why she has gone to such great lengths for him. Why she abandoned her dreams. Why she went against his wishes just to grant him another chance at life. Others will say it's her warmth that draws people to her, or her cheer. Neither are wrong, but neither is the whole truth to her either. Because those who have never bothered to look beyond the surface will never see it. See her. See someone earnest. Someone who has always meant well, despite her underlying stubbornness. This is how she loves. Warm. Steadfast. Unflinching. You never meet any- You never meet many people like her. Not in my line of work. Not with the kind of people I've had to deal with. Always with something to hide. Always with something to lie about. Eventually, when you run across too many of them, you change. You become like them. In many ways. For a lot of reasons. She's... She's the kind of person I want to be and be around with. Who made me feel I'm still worth something. You didn't want me to leave. Said, begged. I could finish my studies first. In the end, I couldn't even... I couldn't even grant him that one request. I'm a terrible daughter, aren't I? You're not. Huh? You're not. I can't speak for your dad. I haven't even met the man. But I know you're not. I'm not a... Uh, <laughs> power through it, Michael. Power through it. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going with this. The remark just came out. Now I'm... Stringing all of these together as I go. But one thing is certain. None of what I'm about to say is a lie. The Isabella I know is a total klutz, but I've never seen anyone work as hard as she does. She's the type who wears her heart on her sleeve. Though it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's always in the right place. She's intimidated by a lot of stuff, but she knows how to appreciate the smallest things in life. 
Frankly, you've caused us no small amount of trouble since you barged into our lives. But when I'm with you, when I'm with you, all of my worries seem trivial. Heat has already crept up my face when the turn when the turn this whole thing is about to take registers. Before I blurt the rest of it out, declare feelings are not even ready to reveal to anyone, much less to her, my hand comes up to smother the rest of it. The embarrassment quickly takes the reins before I can completely clamp my mouth shut. And I'm pretty sure Zach and Becca think the same way. You have a nasty way of growing on people like that, and... And... You know what? We got everything we needed in here. I'll just wipe the security recordings and we're good to go. While I'm at it, you... You better wipe the snot off your face. And you don't look very nice when you're balding like that. Oh. What is this game? And this is the final one. <laughs> the... Oh, no. While gathering what they found, Ashton accidentally brought up Isabella's father, who had apparently passed away the day before, and my heart's destroyed. Suddenly, her reasons for trying to fix this mess became clear to him. In his attempt to comfort her, he ended up almost admitting something he is not ready to put to words. I seemed like a good time to end the recording. Whew, I don't even know when I started this. All right. <clears throat> Hastily, I gather everything. The personal files, client documents, sales agreements, and contracts. Anything my hands could reach. In record time, all of it has been stacked in a neat pile. Ready for storage. I'm heading for the records room not a few seconds later. Wherever that is. It should be an easy find unless this place is a maze of some sort, which I highly doubt. Still beats staying here and seeing the look on her face. Crap. Really. Her anger's still bearable. I can take that, including the glower she sends my way. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go get the security videos and put these back where you pulled them from. Man, these, these are heavy, you know? Ash, it's just paper. You don't even know where I... Oh, no, I can, I can handle this. Easy as pie. And, uh, yeah, security cams, tapes, videos, cams. Yeah, I'm off. Your rejection at this point? Maybe. Maybe not yet. Getting the files back to BRC's archive room is a cinch. With the documents back in their proper places, I locked the door behind me, tugging it twice just to make sure. Now on to the next order of business. Removing the evidence of our little excursion in here, at the very least, the part showing what we've been doing during the past hour. Can't have our faces plastered on security footage showing us breaking the law, as it were. I'm gonna have to wipe the data for Isabella's access card entries, too. Surprisingly, finding their security room brews a breeze. What will be tricky is getting inside. The fact that no one has walked out during the whole time we've been here means the room is either empty or the security's sound asleep. I'm banking more on the former. If they're cutting corners and firing agents, I have no doubt they fired the guy stationed here. If they have anyone watching the monitors in the first place. It's a rather common thing for establishments. Just leave security recording indefinitely and only check the footage if something actually happens. Just a check. I press my ears against the door, listening for a sign of anyone occupying the room. After a long minute and nothing, I give the knob a few Standard rattles. Standard lock and key. Should be easy enough to pick. We have lock pick sets, but those are only to be used if necessary, and with a search warrant. Even then, it's a skill set rarely needed. Subtlety isn't on a cop's priority if they have the authority to search the premises. Bolt cutters and brute force are the favorite methods. If those fail, we call a locksmith. Me? I prefer the good old hairpin trick when those options aren't available. Besides, they're easy to hide and store for emergencies. Running my hand through my hair, I pull a, a, pull a pair of bobby pins. Two of these, and I can just about open any standard lock. One makes a lever, and the other makes a handle. I won't call it a complex skill, but it certainly takes time and a lot of practice to successfully pick a lock. Good thing I practiced with them for a bit in my college years. I learn more when they're accessible and standard issue for a law enforcement officer. I will go here, click there, and I manage to seize all the pins on the locking mechanism soon enough. Oh. Oh, God. With a slight turn of the knob, the security room is ripe for the picking. Oh, I don't like this. I 
I'm worried. I'm worried for Isabella. What is that kind of shadowiness right there? I, oh, mm -mm. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's totally all girl right there. Oh no, Isabella, oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, I already know what's gonna happen. I don't like this. The room soda hits me first. I, I was gonna stop the recording, but you know what? No, we're, we're gonna make this a part of this recording because I honestly don't know how long it's been going. You know what? No. No, we're not. We're going to stop the recording. I don't care how long it's been. I don't care if it's been five minutes. That last one was a beautiful episode, and we are not about to ruin it with a make-me-shit-myself part of this. So, we're to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. And I'll do the best I can to make it right. I'm Llama Joe, and I'll catch you guys later. About to get them spoops up in here.